Well, if the summer heat has you looking for a way to stay cool when you take a vacation, this next story is for you. As Amanda Blitz continues to blitz through summer, she has a vacation choice which is fun, affordable, and will keep everyone cool. It doesn't get more peaceful than this. Oh my, it's actually really fun. And seriously, like, I never actually canoed before, and wow. Courtney and a dozen other kids are part of a canoe camp run by Grand Experiences. Created in 1997, the company takes people on trips along the Grand River in Paris, Ontario. The idea was to her to give people like a mini vacation, you know, so they didn't have to go far, because we're uh, close to a pretty big urban population, but this feels anything but urban, you know, so it's, a, it's like an oasis. And so people can get away, but they don't have to invest a lot of time and not a lot of money. The Ministry of Natural Resources has declared the water between Paris and Brantford as exceptional because there are over 80 species of fish and the forest here is among the most biodiverse in Canada. The Grand River is designated a heritage river. Um, it has a lot of historical significance for the area. It's sometimes called the Highway of the Iroquois because it was used by the indigenous population around here. The company and others nearby offer a number of tours including guided and instructional trips. We wanted to try this before we actually buy kayaks and this is an excellent way to get introduced to it. For $30 you can rent one and take it out right from the back of the store or for $30 a person a shuttle service can take you to a certain location like Len Morris and then you can canoe down the river at your leisure. Staff do almost all the heavy lifting, and for the majority of the trips, you never have to portage. But since canoeing and portaging go hand in hand, I thought I'd give it a try. Now, I'm told this is the easiest way to do it, especially for someone who's never done it before. It's all in doing it fast and quick. One, two, three. And then you just have to slide your hands down until you get to the middle. Woo! And then you just have to walk. <laughs> Gavin McFarland is attending his fourth canoe camp. He says he can't get enough of exploring Canada's waters. You get a sense of enjoyment and freedom and it's a lot of fun. Amanda Blitz, CHCH News, Paris.